Yo, what is going on guys? It is Kobe here with another Black Ops 2 tips and tricks video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the perk Fast Hands. And going into it, I always thought of Fast Hands as kind of an underused perk. Not necessarily underrated, but with Toughness and Scavenger in the same perk slot, it's definitely one of the lesser used perks in the game. So I decided I want to test some things out, see how useful it is, and see how effective it is in different situations, and really see if this perk is worth using. And if you do enjoy the video, be sure to smack that like button. But yeah, so let's get into this. So the description that the creator class gives for Fast Hands is swap weapons faster and use equipment faster as well as reset the fuse when throwing back grenades but for the swapping weapons and using equipment faster I wanted to test it out and actually see how much faster it is because like I said that's a pretty competitive perk slot so it would need to be considerably faster for me personally to even think about using it so I'm just going to quickly show you some of the side by side comparisons so you can clearly see how much fast hands affects weapon swapping and just to make sure that the tests were accurate as possible I went through each weapon class and swapped to the same weapon just to erase as many variables as possible which is always very important when doing tests. And surprisingly, the swap times were all pretty much the same between the weapon classes. You see the same effect and speed difference with every single one, and the speed difference was about 50%. It takes you about half the time to swap weapons when you're using fast hands compared to without it. And we also see fairly similar results as we move on to the equipment. It seems to take the same amount of time to throw a frag as it does to throw a concussion. And with fast hands, again, it takes about 50% of that time. With the Bouncing Betty, you see a really big difference in the recovery time. It takes you quite a bit of time to bring back your gun out after laying down a Bouncing Betty, and the same goes for the trophy system. And lastly, Fast Hands resets the timer when you pick up grenades, including your own, so if an enemy throws a frag at you, you can easily throw it back. And quickly, one mistake that I see a lot of people make, well maybe not a mistake, but I always see people throw it back without cooking it again, instead of picking it up, cooking it for a few seconds, and then throwing it back. And unless you're tossing it over like a building or long distance, you're more likely to get a kill if you do cook it for a second or two. But regardless, after seeing all of its effects and how much it reduces time swapping weapons and using equipment, do you think Fast Hands is worth using? I personally do not think so. For starters, throwing back grenades is cool and all, but with the pick 10 system, how many people actually use lethals, let alone frag grenades, you're way more likely to see people using C4s. But other than that, the whole swapping weapons and using equipment, it obviously helps and speeds up the process, but is it really worth using? Back in MW3, you needed quick draw, throwing grenades and aiming it was just terribly slow, but with fast hands, they kind of just took quick draw and took out half of its effects, which made it less useful. And they had to do that because the whole idea of the pick 10 system was to have attachments be the only thing that affects the gun, which is why there's the quick draw handle now. So do I think it's worth using? Not really. The only map I ever use it on is Nuketown because people are constantly spamming grenades. But still, it's not even that often or at least often enough to make me want to use fast stands on a consistent basis, especially with scavenger and toughness in the same perk slot. But what do you guys think? These are just my opinions. Do you agree with me? Would you rather use toughness or scavenger than fast hands? Or do you actually like to use fast hands? Maybe you run around with an assault shield and shotgun and just troll people, which is actually pretty fun to do. But let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to support it, all likes and favorites are appreciated. If you could get to 300 likes again, I'll begin working on another awesome video that I have planned. All your support has just really been awesome lately and motivating. So again, I want to say thank you for that. If you missed my last two videos, you can click the annotations on screen. On the left is my diamonds guide for the LMGs, and on the right is a breakdown of the stock attachment. So check those out if you want, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.